हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द न्यू वीडियो एंड टुडे अगेन वी विल डिस्कस सम डेवॉप्स इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन आई गॉट दिस क्वेश्चन इन माय डेवॉप्स इंटरव्यू ओनली एंड लेट लेट्स गो एंड डिस्कस सो फर्स्ट द इंटरव्यू स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम टेराफॉर्म क्वेश्चंस सो व्हाट इज नल रिसोर्सेज वॉट इज टेराफॉर्म टेंट so null resources when we don't want to create any resource in that block just we need to store some output or something then we create that uh, null resource block else we are not creating or we are not provisioning any resource in that block what is terraform taint so terraform taint is like a marker which we uh, put on some resource uh, which is already created in our aws but um, there is uh, some you know uh, uh, there is uh, some configuration change that we want to do and that's why we want to recreate it so we put the taint so that the uh, when terraform apply we do the uh, resource is destroyed and created again then what is state file in terraform basically it's a file where it maintains the state of our uh whatever the code that we have written in terraform and various developers that are uh, applying the uh, changes and doing the coding and uh, up, uh, you know creating the resources and to the real world infrastructure which we have in our portal so basically it maintains the state and what is uh, uh, terra grant so he asked me terra grant which i also what was not uh, knowing at that time so i said i'm not sure but i'll surely look into it and uh, i i googled like i uh, researched about it so i have found that so terra grant is ideal for larger more complex project as it simplifies management of multiple terraform modules and enhances collaboration so basically terra grant is also infrastructure as a code only but it is built on terraform capabilities and it has more enhanced feature for managing configuration managing more complex configuration so yeah uh, we this is what i understood and if i have like i will surely deep dive into it and let's see uh, then the next question is that how we will define the dependency on uh, like if we have of resources in terraform so yeah we can define implicit dependency explicit dependency um, of of the resources uh, in terraform so we can define implicit and explicit uh, dependency of the resources in terraform then he asks that uh, what are modules why we use it and how we refer it in our code in a terraform so basically we have to tell that modules are the child like the functions uh, which we can use uh, in many like for various uh, in many code the same function can be used so basically it helps in reusability so we create the small child modules like for vpc subnet and there will be variables file where we'll put the variables so um, basically this is in this way we will uh, Uh, like uh, we'll create a module and we can refer uh, we can call those modules so how we'll refer these modules in our script like if the module is our same uh, path then we uh, will simply dot slash module name if it's in some other path then we have to call put put a whole path name then uh, the next follow up question was like if we have to create um, different v- uh, subnets in a vpc then how will you create it so basically Uh, we will uh, like uh, cr- create uh, vpcs uh, subnet we can keep in uh, like the uh, variables we can keep in the variable file and we can use for each for it and then we can create the uh, subnets accordingly then the next question he asked that uh, acha uh, uh, like what is the difference between terraform tf words file and variables or tf file so i guess uh, the difference between terraform tf wars and war uh, like variables or tf file is first of all how the variables are uh, defined in in these both the files are different and so, 
your task is to find out like if the variable is present in both the files then the pre precedence or preference is given to which uh, value of that variable that you comment down in the uh, comment section then uh, next question was that what have you provisioned anything using terraform please explain so you can tell you yes you have provisioned the virtual servers the uh, vpcs or vpns and subnets and route tables so things like this then uh, the next question was that what sh what issues do you have seen in github like where, when you were working with github so git merge conflicts issue then uh, integrating the github webhook so you can tell all these then uh, next uh, he's then uh, came to uh, kubernetes and he asked and what is the difference between ingress and service so ingress is basically a route uh, it routes traffic to the services and services are basically our pods no like the nodes and the node port service all these services which are running inside a cluster then explain about kubernetes like this is something a uh, very like a single question he asked explain about kubernetes in which a whole thing comes so i explain about the architecture and like how we can refer it then he was like how we can create pod so we can uh, we i said that we can create both imperative and declarative way then uh, uh, how will you solve an issue if pod is stuck in pending or error or any state which in error states and you will check the logs you will uh, try to you know uh, 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 debug the issue in logs that what the error is coming then uh, the next question was like if a space is uh, filled up in some uh, you know pod how will you handle it so you have to clean up do clean up you can uh, clean the old log files and you can increase the storage size of navbs volume attach so like this you can tell but you cannot decrease the size the next question was then explain the flow in jenkins pipeline like whole how from github to everything so you can tell the pipeline script how integrated and then um, uh, then the question was uh, how do you create uh, like what will be the method uh, like what is a crd in kubernetes crd is custom resource definition so the uh, whenever the kubernetes api serve, when you create a new crd or custom resource definition the kubernetes api server uh, creates a new restful resource path for each version you specify and the custom resource created for a crd object can be namespace or cluster scope so basically from class custom resource definition like for any resource if you are specifying the uh, custom uh, like uh, custom uh, definition or something like th this will be uh, like this resource will be using this much uh, memory or this much only and it can be defined on namespace level also and cluster level also so basically we can define the custom resources in kubernetes and uh, like whenever uh, we will define that custom resources according to that the resources will be created and everything so yeah uh, that's all uh, was asked to me and i hope it's helpful so yeah bye